Hey guys, this is Omoka with the second part of our adventure in FTL Faster and Light Star Wars mode and we are doing quite well. All of our heroes, Winfield, Adam and Jan are working on their skills, especially Adam. Yeah, he's almost there and yeah, we should go to the next sector. Beacon map. So, should we check out the star actually? It's so close. Yeah, let's go there before the rebels arrive in our Beautiful ship, you discover a resupply station used by rebels and civilians alike. I won't read that. We can again almost buy shields, but I don't want to. But let's check out the drones. Again, the blue squadron is like the lamest level. It's like level 1 drone. Then there is a gold squadron, which is a better one. And then there is a rogue squadron. Everyone, I hope, played rogue squadron the game with Luke Skywalker and all the great pilots. And this one is super expensive. Hmm. It's especially great if you have the like the drone recovery stuff that uh, lets you reuse your st fighters over and over and over again. But I think the beamings are actually the best, so I will save up for them. I have a lot of fuel, which is fantastic. So I will just fix up our ship, and we can actually upgrade it a little bit. Hmm. Do I want a little bit more weapons, or do I want? A better cloak. It's much cheaper to go with the cloak. Yeah, let's let's max it out. So we have the most out of our cheeky cloak in the next engagement. So let's run away from the rebels. It's a rebel sector, so we will meet them right now as well. It's a rebel fighter relationship. Of course, it's hostile. No drones, luckily. You stumble across a forward scout of the rebel fleet. They are power, powering up their FTL. If they get away, they will no doubt warn the fleet of your position. They still have only one shield, so let's go after them. Mr. Winfield, let's, let's cloak first. And let's destroy that engine so they can't, can't evade us. Hey, Mr. Adam, open fire. You are hurt. We have to fix that after the battle. But again, we have the improved, fantastic cloak yeah it's still charging it's not still not damaged enough oh god uh, oh I don't have the auto fire set up uh, uh, let's do this and this oh, I was kind of hoping that we would take out their weapons because he has two lasers and a missile that will hurt us a lot okay so what now uh, let's Target everything there, because he is about to run away. We are not damaging it enough. Uh, evade, evade! Evade! No! Come on, you! Mr. Winfield, you are not doing the greatest job of all time, I have to say. And you should be helping him as well. Oh no, our evade chance is zero right now. Ah, another hit! Incoming! Oh, oh! Okay, at least there is no fire and their weapons are out of commission, so let's... Let's just destroy them. Uh, should I go after the shields? Uh, let's keep their let's keep their weapons out. Uh, yeah. yeah, at least you prepared it. You redeemed yourself. Bam, bam! There we go. Rebel fighter is destroyed. A little bit of fuel, missile scrap. Their ship breaks apart, and you are relieved to know that you are still one step ahead of the fleet. Okay, so you. Mr. Adam, go heal, go heal up, and Mr. Winfield as well. Meanwhile, Mr. Yan will repair our kind of worthless drone control, but we may be forced to use the Z95 if our weapons are destroyed or something, so we will use him as well. And I'm back to the weapons, and you heal up as well, so we are fixed. See, we have 15%, I think it's a little bit more with Mr. Yan in, in engineering, 20%, hmm. Which makes me think, yeah, up to the fifth level, it's really worthwhile. It's five extra percent every time. This isn't worthwhile because it just makes this automated and it gives you a little bit of evasion if you don't have a pilot. So it's al almost worthless. But I feel like we should upgrade our engines. It's super cheap as well. So let's do this. Oh, let's power them up. So we have 25. We have a quarter chance that we will evade the incoming fire. So let's move out in our hand-drawn ship. 
You arrive near a small rebel refueling depot. Your ship is being scanned multiple times, so they must recognize you. But there appears to be no combat ready ships in the vicinity. The only message you receive is a denial to your request to dock at the depot. Damn it. Rebels are coming as well. Look there. Sweep this sector. You find a rebel automated scout floating near this beacon. Despite its pristine condition, it appears to be deactivated. Um, ba -ba -ba. Let's attempt to download the ship's data storage. It doesn't have to. It doesn't seem to have a shield, so it will be an easy battle. Okay, it worked. I mean, you don't have to fight it even. Uh, oh, oh, it was a map. Okay, fantastic. So we know where. The ships are and especially where the asteroid field is. Because asteroid field is a bad news if you don't have shields. Again, this is a small space station. Hi, Felicity. I would really like to rename it. Uh, this is a girl, actually. <laughs> After one other of you guys. I will try to edit the save for the next episode. It may or may not work. But this guy is perfect because he will... He will sell something. Hmm, but what? Oh, uh, the whole repair? Mm, that's not bad. You can use it. But the Z95 is kind of worthless. So let's sell this. It will not be enough. It's 65. Damn it! Hmm. He's perfect because he's powering up your stuff so you don't have to research it. Hmm. Ah, should I do this? Should I not? It can power up the cloak as well. No, we will just fix it and you will continue. You will continue. Uh, yeah, there. We need a fight. Let's go for a fight. Your ship is hailed. This is an automated message. Resisting our takeover is pointless. Prepare to die. It appears this rebel ship is run by an AI. Okay, no drones. It's fantastic. So you just target their weapons. Cloak. And this shall be an easy battle. Come on, show them, Mr. Adam. Uh, auto fire is on. Fantastic. There we go. I think this is just an iron cannon which will just disable a part of your ship, which is just fine. And we are about to destroy them. I love the sound, by the way. It's exactly how it should sound. I'm not sure about the mass drivers, but the, the turbo lasers are fantastic. It's just like it was ripped off from the um, Star Wars movies, which it most likely was. Oh, come on! Come on, you can do better than that. That was like two chances. Do it twice. Nice. So destroyed a little bit of fuel again. Scrap. Nice. Hmm. There's the exit, but I don't want to go there yet. Okay, let's go there. Let's risk this. Go towards the rebel fleet. An abandoned space station. Circus a lonely planet. A quick check yields schematics for a drone. You bring it aboard the ship. Ah, oh, it's again another blue squadron, so I'm almost sure I will just sell it. It's a Y-Wing. Uh, what can it do? Slow-moving bomber that launches powerful proton torpedoes. Blue squadron is a new raised unit, yeah. I think proton torpedoes are... or proton bombs, as they call them here. They pierce shields. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see. So, yes. Let's move on, guys. Let's move on. There must be... This must be one of the rebels' unmanned scout ships. L looks like there is no way around a fight. It has no shields. It's toast. By the, by the way, the must drivers are cannon for this ship. The Vengeance Cross frigate, I think. It's, it was a pirate ship. It's not in any of the, the any of the movies, I think. It's like in the expanded universe. But the ship explodes again and we have a little bit more of that. I think I can risk this. Yeah, this should be possible to run away. An advanced rebel automated ship remains stationed near a small rebel space station. Sensors, sensors indicate it's a storage vessel for military goods. I have a cloak, so I can just do this, but I want to just destroy it using the cloak. So let's do this instead. Uh, the weapons, of course, I can use a shortcut for this. Cloak up, 
And now, show yourself, Mr. Adam, you may even level up. Okay, nice. This is a bomb launcher, which is like the most annoying ever. But we've taken out their weapons, now you are kind of screwing around. Come on, you can do much better. Actually, if you are in a ship with shields, the, the asteroid belt, if you like go to it, uh, enables you to train up your crew. I think both uh, the huntsman and the engineer level up really slowly, but if you have at least one shield, it's entirely possible to take no damage and just train up your crew. Your salvage, you save a chupor dever, and we get this as well, so fantastic yield, and I think it's time to run away. And this episode will go... Maybe for another one? Ah, hmm. Refueling station. It's, it's like a cheap fuel. We have enough, but you know what? Let's let's grab it. All of it. It's cheaper than at the station. See, we are so close. Being over here, we would be screwed. So, pirate control se sector or the civilian? I fancy the pirates. Yeah, we like the pirates. A little bit more than the rebels. Oh no, it's a nebula. This somewhat isolated region was thrown into chaos at the start of the rebellion. Even in peacetime it was always beset by pirates, but now it houses a center of operations for countless pirate fleets. Fleets? At least we can get, get out of here. So yeah, let's let's do one more sector. Hmm. This is the shortest way out of the nebula. So let's do this. What is what is actually is affecting? Your sensors will not function, but the rebel fleet will advance more slowly. Yeah, it's just the sensors. So let's go there. Through the middle. Let's rush through the middle. Your ship emerges quite far away from the beacon. You see a rebel ship waiting nearby, undoubtedly stationed to look for you. And you'll attack them. Again, only one shield, which is fantastic. So we will go after their weapons. Oh, they have a drone. It's just a defensive drone. So this should be fine. And I should upgrade my weapon as well. Cloak! Open fire, Mr. Adam! And Mr. Win Winfield! Winfield! Steer away from their fire. See? It destroyed that must drive a shot. But I think this is a little bit too much for the drone to handle, yeah. Two shots, two times in a row. I can't really do anything about it. And that was a really late shot. The enemy ship appears to be powering up. It's FTL. It's trying to escape. No! We can't have any of that. Oh no. Come on. Come on, Mr. Adam. Don't, don't do this. You are about... Uh, yeah. You already developed once. See, one star. You have clearly bes bested us. We merely request our lives. No. You are rebels. No! Should have taken this. You missed, Mr. Adam. No, no chocolate this time around. So, store. A well armed transport ship is, and a squadron of fighters are in orbit nearby. We are wary of their trustworthiness, but bigger beggars can be choosers. Again, shields. We can almost do this, but no. Hmm. Yeah, immune to fire, which is nice. Again, Felicity, this time around, someone else. What else? I can sell the blue squadron of the B-Wings. Should I, though? I think I will sell the Z-95s instead and move these guys into the hangar. Uh, no new weapons, which is sad. So let's upgrade our ship so we can use the simple laser at least. It goes even beyond where the regular game can go. Mm, should I go for the next mass driver? I don't think so. Yeah, we may find a store again with better goods. So this is slowing down the rebel fleet. Yeah, let's go up there. Hello, your communicator opens a hail from a nearby ship. Our weapon systems are malfunctioning and we are too afraid of pirates to travel home in unassisted. Can you escort us? Accept. Great, take this bit of fuel as a down payment will be one step behind you following you your ship 
What? Take this bit of fuel as a down payment? Oh, okay. Your jump signatures. Don't want to take any risks now, do we? Fuel. Edit a quest marker. Yes, we have a quest. It's all the way by the exit, so we can go wherever we want. So let's jump there. Let's be done with this. Your ship is flooded with advertisement <laughs> transmissions. No! Ad block! Ad block! Uh, missiles for drones. Uh, no. Distress signal. I think I can swoop around. So let's do this. Let's risk a little bit. An especially alarmed pirate ship approaches you. Hand over one of your crewmates, and the rest of you can go free unharmed. Uh, draw straws and send a crew member. I can't do this to you guys. Well, you don't deserve it, Adam. You will get better. So we will never surrender one of our crew, of course. Uh, no drones, which is fantastic. Only one shield, which is even better. And this she this one tiny laser will shoot so fast that it will level you up even more. Bam, 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 bam. Hit, hit, another hit. Nice, nice job, Mr. Adam, this time around. Oh God. The enemy ship appears to be powering up its FTL drive, and they are destroying our stuff. Okay, we can't have any of this, so we will go after their engines, which is for some reason over there. I would, I was expecting it to be there. And at the same time, we have to use. I think you will be our. He no, we will just open this, and when that, when the atmosphere, and uh, yeah, they will try to just barge in, but I think we will destroy their ship before they can get in, and then we will use our full crew, all of you. Uh, do we take one slave? I think like one crew member would be nice, actually. It would, it's worth more than... Uh, this, yeah, let's, let's accept. At least it removes the, the invaders as well. Come on, close everything. Oh, it's damaged. So we have Mr. Marcus. Nice, and you will be stationed. Hmm, where exactly? I think I will just use you, maybe, as a way team. Mm, let me didn't destroy them. So, distress, distress, store. Yeah, we've been there. Let's go this way. Oh no, asteroid field. Damn it. A pirate ship was lying in wait inside this asteroid field. It immediately moves into attack. Turn and fight. And we will be damaged quite a bit, actually, so we may... I can't upgrade my ship to go for the whole repair. Okay, Mr. Marcus, you are on the repair duty. Coke, and this, I think, even lowers, like... No, it doesn't lower the chance. Oh, no. Okay, it disabled the laser, so it's fine. It maybe even it increases the evasion from the asteroids, the cloak. It shouldn't, like, the asteroid isn't aiming at you. <laughs> but I guess it does. Okay, we've just saved a little bit of money, but this one will hit us. Look at him go. Ah, right. Right into our drone bay. And we can use our other laser as well. Eh, you are on the repair duty. Go there, Mr. Marcus. At least for now, Marcus. Yeah. Oh, uh, no, this is not nearly enough. You will be destroyed, pirate. Scum. Okay, I think I will jump away even with the destroyed subsystems because I just don't want to take the hits from the asteroids. So let's move there. Guys, let's escape this death trap. Scans reveal a large asteroid field nearby. Wasn't this the one we've left? Short range scanners may discover useful materials while we wait for the FTL to recharge. Scrap recovery arm, nice. Attempt to mine the asteroids. Nah, 46 scrap, nice. You carefully extract as much usable material as possible from the nearest asteroids while waiting for your FTO to recharge. This is fantastic. We can just heal up, repair the stuff. Who's been hurt, Mr. Mr. Adam again? Right, because they are targeting our weapon systems. They know how good you are. Yeah, the cameras are fixed. Let's heal up our fourth hero. Moving over there and let's jump. Should I go for the quest? I think I will do it like this, this, this. Yeah. 
Once you arrive, your screen lights up with warnings. A nearby pirate seems to have advanced. No, two, two of them advanced hacking tools and they have tried to shut down your engines. Your crew manages to keep them barely operational and you move into attack. Guys, at least it's not the cloak. So he will die anyway. Open fire! Oh, that does kind of nothing. Now it does. Yeah. I think the best thing would be to time it just before the double agent. So we don't waste the damage, but yeah, they are just screwed, Mantis. Pirate scum. Nice. Hmm. I fancy repairing and upgrading my ship. So we can uh, like go for the second mass driver, which penetrates shields, which may be really useful in the next sector where I'm sure they will have like double shields. Maybe upgrade the drones a little bit. It's only 10. Well, I'm going for that for sure. And let's do this as well. So yeah, it was kind of worthless. So let's 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 do this so we can power them up. I can't. Oh, okay. No enemy. It's fine. I shall enough have enough stuff. Unpowered. Yeah, I'm trying to power it up. This works. This doesn't. Okay, we'll try it in the next sector, which will be the this one, yeah, and then we'll go for the quest. A mercenary hails you. Greetings, friend. We've heard tell of your quest, and I'm here to offer you valuable services. He will destroy you, mister. I, s I know he said friend, but he's a mercenary as well. I think he's just scared. You can't... You, I can't power it up. Uh, uh, I'm not sure why. Oh, yeah, you power it up, I guess, by using the drone. Uh, yeah, that's right. Let's use the Y wing blue squadron. Let's, let's see what they do. See, they go straight through. Oh, I'm not using my cloak. They are not that bad, but they are not like leveling up. So, the enemy ship appears to be powering up its FTL again. Like everyone is trying to escape us. But yeah, you can't. Yeah, you are screwed. Take everything we have and let's both forget this happened. Seventeen scrap now. No way. The ship explodes. Like, 40 is much more like it. Much more like it. We are still cloaked. So now let's go for the quest. Yeah. Let's go for the quest. Maybe you'll get some awesome weapon. You escort the ship to the requested beacon. Much to your dismay, you are ambushed by a rebel ship. You walked right into a trap. What? It's those bastards. Okay. What was the priority target? I think it's still the weapons. Should I use my drone? Like this is extremely annoying, bastard. But we can still cloak. So, ah, uh, okay. We'll destroy their weapons, and then we'll just destroy their drone bay, and that will be it. <laughs> Mister Adam, what was that? I have to ask, really, seriously. Are you drunk? Almost sure you are. Okay, he's free floating. Ah, oh, but they repaired their weapons. That's less than ideal. They are really efficient with repair tools on that ship. The yeah, ship, again, they are everything, everyone, every single one is trying to escape us. They feel our might. Oh, and this drone is working again. Sucks. Come on, hit them. You can't be serious, Mr. Mr. Adam. They are about to escape. No, oh, again? This is the at least the second time you let you put us down. Yes, maybe the third time. I think we will have a, a talk. For sure. A damn drone floating around. You know what? Just just heal up. Yeah. You'll have a talk off the screen. This is unacceptable, Mr. Adam, especially with your excellent training. Okay, we will have to squelch that fire first. 
This is really not how our crew should work. And you are the most skilled part of our crew. And you are failing all the time. I've opened these doors because, like, to let the air equalize and let him survive the repair. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is our Marcus, our repairman. He's getting there. Yeah. So let's go there and I'm watching you, Mr. Adam. I'm watching you. You are not drinking. Okay. You've arrived at the long range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. You find a rebel automated scout floating near this beacon. Despite its pristine condition, it appears to be deactivated. Well, like hell, we are going to activate him. <laughs> Apparently, it's not firing back. Look at this. All oh, this has been taken over by the damn rebels. So, where are we going next time? Is it the rocks or the Zoltan? Mm, let's go for the Zoltan. And this is the end of this episode. You are far from Federation home space here in Zoltan territory. And it's not clear whether the authorities will have any goodwill remaining. Still, you have to push forward. Of course, we have. Let's just take a peek. Nice store right there, so you can look forward to another store in the next episode, guys. If you like this video, like it, if you want to see more, subscribe, if you want to be on the crew, just leave a comment down below, and until next time, bye-bye.